I was born in St. Joseph's Hospital in St. Paul, Minnesota on October 14, 1982. My name is Mañeva or Mañevang. It is a special name because my mom's brother chose that name for me. He lives in California. When my parents married, my mom moved to St. Paul where my dad's extended family lived. It is customary for Hmong women to move out of her family's home and live with her husband's family when she gets married. My early memories were of our first home. We lived in a public housing complex called Roosevelt Homes. The homes were styled like a town home. Each unit was separated by a tall brown wooden fence. My brother and I played in the concrete courtyard about 10 feet by 10 feet. I remember watching other children playing on the sidewalk and green space on the other side of our fence. Out of concern, my mom would not let us out of the courtyard, but it didn't matter to us because sometimes even my parents' queen bed was our playground. We weren't always stuck inside though. As the oldest, I watched over and helped my little brothers with their shoes and clothes. We piled into a minivan that my dad fondly calls Lou Mal Van, but he really loved his two-door Toyota Celica. If it were a short trip, we would all try to fit in the back seat, one of the children laying across our knees to fit. Some of my fondest memories were of our family trips to the Como Zoo. It was free and family friendly. The Sparky the Sea Lion show was our favorite. So was the gorilla statue. It has become a family tradition to hang out beside the statue and take a photo. We visit the zoo now with my niece and nephews too. My parents came a long way from their home in Laos and experienced war through their entire childhood but now they've made a life and home in America.